everybody, my name is Deku Mike and welcome back with another video that I'll be doing today. Uh, on my last, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys, if you guys watch my one of my videos, I, I just did a top 10 movies or series. Or my top 10 favorite movies or series. But now I'm gonna be doing a top 10 anime or my favorite, my top 10 favorite anime. So without further ado, let's go to the list and go to the first one. So the first one is none other than uh, uh, Bakura, Gai, uh, Bakura Gaita. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Uh, it's the only anime that made me cry so far. So um, I love the story, I love uh, the, cart uh, the art, and of course uh, it's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's one of the, uh, like I said, it's the first uh, it's the first and last anime that made me cry. So let's go to the second one. And the second one is also one of my favorite, and it's not none other than Suzuka. I I, I usually uh, I watched it. Uh, I watched this anime back when I was in high school, and I even bought the manga. I still have the manga here, I think. Yes. No, that's not it. No, nope, that's not it. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Yep, here it is. Uh, this is book nine. Uh, this is uh, this uh, manga. Ver this uh, this book is not from the actual anime because the, the uh, I mean the animator didn't finish the entire uh, manga series. But uh, it's the same as the story. Uh, it's the same story. It's from the same story as the original uh, Suzuka anime. So I got four of these, four or five books. And they're English dub or in, uh, English version. So I bought that. That was quite expensive to be honest. Um, so that's the second one which is Suzuka. So let's go to the third one. The third one is Clanet, uh, Clanet series. Uh, I find it, uh, uh, I find the, uh, uh, you know, the art and the drawing and the animation a bit cute. So I, and also the story was really good. So that's the reason why it made it to the third place on my top 10 anime or my favorite anime list. So let's go to the fourth one. The fourth one is Amagami SS. So that's the fourth one. The fifth one is uh, Kimi... Uh, this is really hard to pronounce. Kimi ga nozomu ien. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's Kimi ga nozomu ien. So that's the fifth of my favorite anime list. Oh, let's go to the sixth one, which is Ichigo 100%. That's the sixth one. The seventh one is Myself Yourself, uh, and the eighth one is um, it's really, uh, this one is a bit uh, cute and it has a very good story, and it's none other than Midori no Hibi or Midori Days. I think that's uh, the, the other name for it, but it's called Midori no Hibi. It's a it's about an it's a story about a guy whose right or left hand suddenly transform into uh, a girl. It's weird, trust me. But it's really cute and it does a good story. So try watching it. But I know it's weird. You know, sometimes anime can get weird. But this one is this one is, is really romantic. It has a good story and it's unique. I have to say it's really unique. So. That's the eighth of my favorite top ten anime list. Let's go to the ninth one. The ninth one is uh, Itazura na Kiss. It also has a good story. It's a romantic story, and uh, I love, I love, uh, I also love it. I love watching this anime, and I enjoyed it. Because I enjoyed it because um, of the story. And of course, the the last but not the least, which is the tenth one, is is pure. Or that's I apostrophe S viewer. So yeah, that's my top 10 anime or my top 10 favorite anime video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a like or a thumbs up. It would really help me out a lot. Also, don't forget to subscribe and be part of my awesome clan. And as always, I will see you guys next time with another brand new video. This is the cool Mike signing off. Goodbye.